I saw this video in my sub feed, because why would you not be subscribed to Status Coup? What They're okay. Just again, I... They do some good interviews. Like, th they do some good stuff, right? Um, Interviewing Trump supporters is something I think is worthwhile. Yes, these people are crazy. Yes, these people are nuts. But does that mean that they're bad people? I don't think so. And so I've got a video here from Status Quo of them interviewing a QAnon Trump supporter. And there's a lot here that I can talk about. So I'm just going to play this video and I we'll go from there. I don't know much about this, but like the QAnon stuff, that's, do you know anything about that? Yeah, where we go one, we go all. Um, in 2016. The idea that this lady just said, yeah, where we go one, we go all. Yeah, all right, secret handshake, we're in. Now, let me give you my story. I first heard of QAnon when it first became a thing, became a thing. And I remember when I, like, I thought it was just like a stupid thing. Like, yeah, a bunch of boomers are like falling for 4chan memes. And then I remember I was walking down the street and I was by a bus stop and I heard people at the bus stop talking about, you hear about Q? Yeah. Talk about President Trump and Q. And, like, I eavesdropped. I didn't respond to them. I didn't interact. I was just walking right back, right? I, but I heard that. And from that moment, from that moment on, I have known that QAnon was a serious problem. And over the past six months, right? And I'm talking that was, like, back in 2018 or so. But over the past six months in 2020, right, with the quarantine, the lockdown, like, COVID and stuff, QAnon has flourished. I've got people in my direct family that will sometimes text me things and say, oh, did you hear about this? Right? And it's a literal QAnon story. Oh, did you hear about this? Antifa's destroying wildfires or the Antifa's destroying fires or forests or whatever the, the, the thing is. Oh, did you hear about this? Trump is destroying pedophiles. That's why I'm going to vote for him. It's ridiculous. But these people think that they're doing things that are righteous. Because that's the thing with QAnon. Is it tells you, yes, these people are global, satanic, pedophile rings. And are you really not going to be against that? If you are able to believe that there is a global, satanic cult of pedophiles, right? Obviously, you're going to go fight against them with, with whatever thing you can do. Obviously, you're going to do your best to destroy the, 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 the satanic cabal. Duh, right? If you really actually believe that they're a, a real thing that exists, why, like, what are you just going to sit at home? It's the biggest crisis of our lifetime. And that's where QAnon comes in. Because you've got a lot of people that are at home, like quarantining, right? Quarantining. Q, interesting, right? Okay, there's a little bit of a correlation there. But you're 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 quarantining, and then you see this stuff on Facebook, and it looks legit. And you're like 40, 50 years old. You don't know how to fact check. You don't know how to use Google and search what you're looking up and find other articles about them. You don't know any of that. You just see a Facebook post, and you like over the course of a few months, few months, you see a few more Facebook posts, shares, you know, more and more. You see more and more about it. All of a sudden, six months later. Hillary Clinton is literally devil incarnate and she and Jeffrey Epstein are doing a fucking uh, Jeffrey Epstein's still alive or he's a ghost. I don't know. There's something going on. And somehow Trump being directly connected to all these people. Right. Somehow. Nah, he's fine. Right. He's he's like the double agent. Right. So I want the I want you to really just kind of try your best to empathize with this person here that's being interviewed, because like it is a serious problem. These people um, seriously that, that, exist. You know, so I just want you to kind of think to yourself, what would need to happen for me to actually become this person? Just think about it. Think about that. Yeah, where we go one, we go all. Um, in 2016, there was some drops on 8chan and 4chan from military underground people who uh, do work for the president. They want to see this country great. That they, They're very against pedophilia. So they've been dropping... Um, uh, Q drops on different like uh, sites like Praying Medic, 4chan, 8chan, um, SX Report, SGT Report. Uh, True. Notice like all these sources, all these sources that this woman is linking are just like bizarre far right conspiracy networks, right? And notice the way that she is talking about it. 
she is talking about it in that sense of like, this is one of the first times I've ever actually talked about this. This is one of the first times I've ever actually told the story. Like she's trying to crystallize what Q is to people because this is like, she's also trying to explain it to herself. When people like this are saying this kind of stuff, they're not trying necessarily to convince you of Q. They're trying to convince themselves. And each time that they give these explanations, they get better and better at explaining it and they get better and better at convincing themselves that it must be true. Reporting, news, net, all these different networks drop the Q drops. And he told us last month, Red October, that there was gonna be a corona scared with the president. So who do you think Q is? What type of... QAnon is a military group that backs the president. All so another thing about Q is, you know, when you go on Twitter and like you see someone who's like, God, I would never want to see Joe Biden debate Donald Trump. That sounds awful. Right. And then you check the date of the tweet and it's like 2010. Right. Like those like that's basically QAnon. It's, it's like a bunch of people on 4chan or 8chan all giving their wild predictions. And then whenever someone gets the prediction correct, whenever they get the gold medal, they all flock to them, ignore all of their other 5,639 wrong predictions, focus on the right one that was even somewhat accurate, and then it's like, Q predicted the future. Q knows all. And that's what's really bizarre about this. Because again, when you have a website like 4chan and 8chan, you literally have everyone saying, this is what's going to happen, this is what's going to happen. And they're all wrong, except for one of them. One of them is slightly somewhat on tune there, because if you, if you try to predict every possible timeline, you're going to get one of them correct. And that's what convinces these people. Because they're not using 8chan every single day. They're not using 4chan at all times. They're on Facebook, and they see that that's where the source comes from. At that point, Everything's been curated for them, and that's what's really dangerous here. Again, this is something that is – this is a religion, a cult, whatever. This is not a conspiracy network anymore. This is a genuine cult, and that's why it's getting scary. All the way, and they're the ones, if you look, more children have been discovered, like, missing. Um, if you look right now, I think Nexium's talking, and um, – What's her name? Um, Giselle Ma Gillen Maxwell. I think she's talking. Because she if you lame. look at all the pedophile arrests now, and there's been 36,000 pedophile arrests in the Trump administration, and I believe 288 in the Obama administration. So you got, got to look at some stats there. You know? One thing people are concerned about with that, especially with like Gillen Maxwell and Jeffrey Epstein, is both Trump and Clinton were kind of friends with him and in his world. Does that at all bother you? Because billionaires, there's a honeypot, right? And so when Trump saw... I wouldn't get and this, this is the page. thing here that's bizarre, right? Now, this is their excuse, right? All billionaires are the same. They're all in the same circles. And that's why Tom Hanks is a pedophile. Now, Tom Hanks might be a pedophile. I don't know, right? But that's why, right? Because they all, that's why Oprah Winfrey is a pet. That's why Jeffrey Epstein is connected to Bill Clinton, is connected to Hillary Clinton, is connected to Barack Obama, is connect. Like, they're all pedophiles because they're all connected, except for Trump. Except for Trump is automatically exempt. Okay, yeah, sure, there's court filings of him inappropriately engaging with underage women. Whatever, that's fine. Okay, he was just part of the network. That's what that's what they do, right? You know, when when you're going a double agent, that's what you do. You just engage in sex crimes with minors, right? Duh, that's why Trump did that. He was going double agent. He's not a pedophile. He was just being double agent. He was being a really good investigative journalist, right? That's why you see Donald Trump make passing remarks about 14 year olds at a golf course saying damn i want a piece of that i like him young i mean again he's just double agenting right it's it's all part of the act he's got to do this act for 30 maybe 40 years he's got to engage in sexual acts with minors he's got to ogle minors for 30 to 40 years and then that's when you know that's when you go full QAnon. it's not totally that someone took advantage of his situation right and he's just getting an out or an excuse for all this behavior no 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 it was 30 years of being a double agent duh that's why trump is totally innocent he's totally innocent y'all totally innocent Facebook. When Trump saw um, Epstein and his ways with the, the young girls, he was at Mar-a-Lago. I'm from Florida, so I, used to, I worked at, sometimes at Mar-a-Lago modeling the cars. 
And he saw that Virginia Guilfoyle was there. She was a towel girl, and she actually took Virginia. He took her and used her as a massage girl. And when Trump found that out and he also hit on Ivanka, he was livid, and he turned him in. So he's never been on the island, ever. He took one trip on the, on the plane uh, to New York. That was it. And after one that, trip. he never dealt with it again. One and he's trip. the one who turned his name into the FBI. You could Google that, too. I will give you that. There's no evidence that he was on, on the island, Bill Clinton. There is evidence that he was. Um, in general, though, there are, in fact, a lot of allegations of sexual harassment, sexual assault on the part, of course, Bill, going back to Bill Clinton, a ton for him, but also a lot for, for Donald Trump. Does that worry you? Well, they're all accusations. Nothing's really set in stone. Nothing. Even Stormy backed out. Again, they're all accusations. All of this stuff that's happened for 30 to 40 years, it's not real. It's an accusation. Though, when people accuse Bill Clinton, oh, it's got to be real. When people accuse uh, Hillary Clinton, it's got to be real. When people accuse John Podesta, it's got to be real. So I got a, a chat message here real quick from William McCaw. LMAO, you hate Trump. Strange for one who flies a flag of revolt. Okay, dude. Dude, 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 dude. Billionaires have been threatened if they couldn't by blackmail. Trump has big ball. Okay. The idea that you're saying, okay, I... I'm an anti-fascist. I don't like America, right? I want to change America from a country that works for corporations to a country that works for people. So the way to do that is to support Donald Trump? What? Like, again, I, f I wave a flag of revolt and I, like, don't like the press. How can you simultaneously think? And I, this is a genuine question because we have a QAnon person in the chat room. While I'm doing this live, we literally have a QAnon person in the chat room. So this is why it's interesting. So, William, like, how can you say that you want, or maybe, like, how can you make the claim that a revolutionary would support the most corrupt president in history? Like, if your argument is that the most corrupt president in history is going to cause a collapse of institutions that will cause, like, some sort of violent upheaval, maybe, right? But I just don't get it. Is the way to support Biden? I don't support either of the candidates. I dislike both of them. So, like again, I'm I'm just curious as to what your what your thought process is. How can you support the richest, most corrupt billionaire president in the history of all world leaders? Right? How can you support that and then claiming while claiming? that you're for like a re revolution or something it's weird it's strange it's bizarre itor says these people simply can't find actual legitimate reasons to support trump so they make up this huge complete conspiracy to be able to support him since those who created a cult of personality for trump made supporting him as part of their own personality exactly it's all identity politics for a group that claims, I hate identity politics, I hate identity po it's literally all identity politics, except in case, in, instead of black skin or a gay sexual orientation, right, it's a red shirt, it's a MAGA hat, it's all identity politics for them. That's why if you're a Trumper and you say you'll support Biden, you get Trumpers calling you a pedophile, you get people excommunicated from their families over that stuff, it's bizarre. Clintons? I don't support the Clintons. William, you've been here for a couple weeks now. You should know this basic stuff. Come on, dude. Come on. Come on, man. As time goes by and he constantly makes a fool of himself, they must justify that somehow. Again, it's all double agent stuff. It's all double agent. They're all double agents. Trump's a double agent. That's why he's doing all this. So, I mean, he's a billionaire, and he was such a good-looking guy when he was younger, too. So you've got to understand, women are going to throw themselves at him. But look at Bill Cosby, how he went down. Look at the way um, Charlie Sheen never went down, which is just the different people go down. But nobody could really go to court and face Trump and accuse him, because they were just accusations. He was never convicted. Okay, any last words you have for people about... Again, people accusing you in a court of law... And leading to a settlement instead of a conviction that's not exoneration that's not like being innocent if someone settles out of court instead of letting a court convict them right that doesn't mean that they're innocent that doesn't mean like what well, maybe what QAnon or Donald Trump what do you think they're gonna bring for the future I think that we should pray for the president, you guys. We need unity, not division. And all these BLM, all we want to do is fight for our freedom and keep America free. I mean, they're closing down our business. Okay, so 
she mentions BLM and then says, all we want to do is fight for our freedom. What? What freedom? What are you fighting for? Who are you fighting? She mentions BLM, and then, then in the next sentence she says, we just want to fight for our freedom. Who are you fighting? Are you fighting BLM? Who asked about BLM? But again, it's all talking points. It's all NPC scripted dialogue for these people. They've got the talking points. They're on the email list for the White House. They know what to talk about. Whenever we talk about freedom, we got to talk about BLM, the black people. Yeah, that's right. They're trying to take our freedom. They're trying to kill us all. They're running through the streets. They're rioting and looting. Like what? Who mentioned any of that? That's fascism, okay? I don't, BLM is, a lot of them are working for George Soros. So that's interesting. How is there? Have you seen something about evidence for that? Yeah, I have family in the FBI, and also it's called Project Blue Chip. And what happens? Of of, oh, I have family in the FBI. So what I'm about to say makes total sense and isn't completely ludicrous. Yeah, it's called Project Blue Chip. I'm in the FBI, by the way. These people. My friend has a neighbor who is an actor, and he um, advertises for. Um, um, come work in West Hollywood and support the Democratic Party, blah, blah, blah. I don't know the details, so. And they get money for uh, actually going to rallies and, and being Antifa and BLM. They're, they're making paychecks. So you, you've actually seen these paychecks or you've heard, like, heard. that they're coming down the, the pike? I love that. Yeah, no, no, yeah. BLM Antifa is being paid by the military. Oh, yeah, I'm in the FBI. It's military intel. I can't give you any more information. I'm in the FBI. I can't tell you more. If I told you more, I'd have to kill you, right? Like, I can't do that, right? It's just military top secret information. Even Q doesn't know about this, right? Like, it's just like, what the fuck? Emily. Some people have said that, like, talking about George Soros as funding everything is anti Semitic. Do you see it like that at all? George Soros is anti-Semitic. He was a Jewish boy who was captured by the Nazis to turn on his own family and turn his family in. And you know what he said? He felt nothing at the time. So I don't think... But again, George Soros, a six or seven billionaire, seven like billion dollar billionaire, he is totally running a shadow government of Antifa, BLM, rioters and looters. Elon Musk, a $70 billion billionaire, Right, openly advocating for coups in Bolivia. Nah, he's cool. He's good. He's on our side. Uh Jeff Bezos, the richest person in the world, trying to like create a fucking global chain of charter schools to teach how good capitalism is. No, nah, he's good. He's on our side. He's fine. But George Soros, all of a sudden, all of a sudden, George Soros. It has to be him. It has to be. It couldn't be anyone else. It couldn't be an organic uprising in every city in America. No, 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 no. It couldn't be that people in every single city in the entire country are fucking sick of this system. No, no, no. It has to be George Soros. It has to be the big Jew. Has to. There's no other option, right? Where we go one, we go all. Like, what the fuck? I think he's a horrible. He'll go down. Uh, one way or another hope you enjoyed that last video anyway so like that's the idea here um these people are real they are real and they're not cr like they are crazy right but they're not terrible people and that's really what i wanted to talk about today is that QAnon people are not bad people they have just been severely misled abused and manipulated like again if you were convinced if you were 100 percent convinced that there was a global satanic pedophile ring, and you knew all the details, right? And you you were convinced of that? Of course you would do your best to try to take them down. Of course, right? Duh. Not all of us are going to be able to be convinced of that, obviously, because it's a bunch of malarkey, right? There's no evidence for it. It's just a bunch of HN posts, right? But if you are a kind of person who's able to be convinced and you are convinced that again you are fighting a satanic group of pedophiles that's why these people take up guns and go to the the comet ping pong pizzeria in washington because they think they're going there to save children and that is why the thing like hashtag save our children is so nefarious because it's all about children it's about oh and especially with these mothers oh these people have had kids right what if my kids were abducted by jeffrey epstein and hillary clinton right so it's personalized for them that's why you see a lot of QAnoners honors that are like suburban housewives right because they're sitting at home all day in quarantine reading facebook and a couple months go by all of a sudden they're a freedom fighter Right. And it's just again, it's just I don't know what to do about it. I don't know. Do you? I don't. 
It's scary. But you need to understand, these are real humans. These are not like evil, like Nazi foot soldiers. These are real people, and they need help. And I don't know how to help them. I really don't. So I'm just trying to get this conversation rolling. Damn, though. Damn. Trump supporters replaced the caravan script for the BLM script. Absolutely. TBH, child abduction and sex trafficking are pretty serious issues. That's why, again, because there is a problem with child abduction and sex trafficking. It is a real thing. So they take that real thing and they wrap it like into a religious framework. And so again, like if I thought like I like say like there was a, a sex trafficking ring in my city and like I was 100% convinced that I knew where it was and I knew all the people involved and they're all evil, right? And I had a gun. Would I go and try to free the children? Maybe. I don't know. Like, again, it's the thing. If you are convinced of this, and if you think that this is happening, then they convince themselves that they're the hero in this story. They're not a crazy person, set, like, bringing a gun to, like, a random restaurant. No, 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 no. They're bringing a gun to go free the children from shackles. And that's why you're able to convince otherwise normal, healthy, like, nice, like, people into being like these potential mass shooters it's horrifying dude it's horrifying holy shit it's scary i don't know it's fucking scary um 